Paul Joseph Watson with Infowars.com. Infowars commissioned a poll with Harris Interactive, the major polling firm, to get Americans' thoughts, their opinions on the behaviour and the activities of the TSA. Now, we asked six questions, but there were three shocking results to come out of this poll. The main one of which was nearly a third of Americans are willing, or somewhat willing, to undergo a, quote, TSA body cavity search in order to fly. In other words, nearly one third of Americans are willing to have a TSA finger up their ass, all in the name of stopping terrorism for safety and security. Number two, 35% of Americans are willing to wear an electric shock bracelet that would allow TSA or other airline officials to incapacitate them at any moment, again in the name of stopping terrorists. Of course, we know back in 2008, the DHS seriously pursued that option. They were about to implement it until it got negative press attention. So 35% of Americans willing to wear an electric shock bracelet simply in order to get on a flight. Number three, 50%, sorry, 57%, a clear majority of Americans would agree, think it's reasonable or somewhat reasonable, to create a law which makes it illegal to disobey a TSA agent when they give an order in any public place. So if you extrapolate that out to its logical conclusion, bearing in mind this wasn't the poll question, but it's an extrapolation of that answer, with 57% supporting this idea, a TSA agent could be walking down the street and say, hey bitch, wash my car, and <laughs> you'd be mandated to do it under law. They could say, hey, I want to rape your wife. Go ahead. You refuse, you're going to, you're going to jail. Again, that wasn't the question in the poll, but if you extrapolate it out, logical conclusion, when 50% of Americans think that making a law which makes it mandatory to obey any order given by a TSA agent in any public place, that's the kind of tyranny we could actually face later on down the line. So I just wanted to recap those three shocking poll results, and you can see the articles underneath this YouTube video. You can check them out for yourself. And the second thing I wanted to talk about was there were probably about 10% of the comments in these articles saying, this is BS, you made these figures up, this is InfoWars bullshit, once again, you're lying. Well, you can contact Harris Interactive for yourself, you can phone them up, you can email them, and you can ask, A, if we conducted this poll with them, which you'll find out we did, and B, if the results are accurate. Now, before I could even publish my article about this, I had to give it to Harris for approval, they had to suggest a number of revisions before we could actually publish the article. So the figures are accurate, the description in the article is accurate, it was all approved by Harris, and yes, it's a real poll. We can't live in denial anymore about the fact that probably about one third of Americans would happily march into a concentration camp if they were told to by a man in uniform with a smile on their face. That's one of the main things to come out of this poll. And what also comes out of this poll is a resurgence of the necessity to take part in the InfoWars opt-out and film campaign, which is at infowars.com slash opt-out. Because, you know, whatever level of indignity we're willing to tolerate, that's exactly what we'll get. And the TSA is just one example of this wider war on liberty, this evisceration of our freedoms, and there's just no more time to cop out. I'm sick of people saying, let's just boycott the airlines and not fly. A, the TSA aren't just in airports, they're now highways, subways, bus depots, music concerts, political events, even school prom nights for God's sakes. They're creeping out everywhere, massively expanded under Obama, now he's being re-elected, going to be massively expanded once again. So, the argument, oh, let's boycott the airlines, let's just not fly, is not part of the solution. That's part of the problem. Because you can't just trade one right for another. That doesn't work. That's a losing strategy. You're losing rights. You say you want to trade your right to privacy and dignity under the Fourth Amendment in exchange for the right to mobility by not flying. Then you're losing a right. You're not winning. 
you're not gaining anything and long term if you keep on trading your rights away like that you're going to lose all of them the right to mobility is essential we've got to stand up now and say enough is enough with the TSA and the other major thing to come out of this poll of course was that 77% of Americans think the TSA is either doing an excellent, good or fair job which mirrors previous polls so it again proves that while a lot of people say oh when are we going to stop talking, when are we going to start doing something well we are doing something with this TSA opt-out campaign but we've got to keep talking, we've got to keep wake, waking people up because it's a tiny percent that are woken up only 9% of Americans think the TSA is doing a bad job and you think about all the scandals week after week with the, you know, the, the, the grope downs of children, the elderly, the colostomy bags bursting, the cancer survivors being harassed, throwing grandfather's ashes on the floor and laughing about it, stealing iPads, stealing cash, these ridiculous obedience training policies that are designed to punish anybody who shows an attitude or dares speak up against the TSA. It's got to stop now. It's gone too far, and the InfoWars opt-out and film campaign is a crucial part of standing up and saying no, generating massive negative media attention towards the TSA, because what we've done so far, you know, while it's put them under question, it's certainly not convinced the majority of Americans that this loathsome federal agency should be abolished and the airport should replace them with private screeners, which uh, several airports already have. So basically that's the fallout from the Infowars.com TSA poll with Harris. You can read the articles below. You can contact Harris and uh, confirm with them that it's a real poll. These are real results, real statistics. And I urge you to go to Infowars.com slash opt out. Get on board with the TSA, uh, the anti-TSA opt out and film campaign at infowars.com slash opt out. I'm Paul Joseph Watson for infowars.com. Thanks for joining me.